Okay, let's talk a little bit about polyprotic acids. Polyprotic, the protic, we're referring to the acidic hydrogens and polyprotic acids contain two or more. Our example could include things like phosphoric acid, citric acid, even sulfuric acid. Um, although sulfuric is considered to be a strong acid with respect to the first ionization. So it's on the strong acid list, not so much with the second ionization. The calculation of the equilibrium of polyprotic acid has to be done in a stepwise fashion. And we're not gonna focus on the specific calculations for this particular course. One assumption is to assume that the first ionization is most of the ionization. And if Ka1 is significantly bigger, that's generally the case. In the case of phosphoric acid, we have a Ka1 for the first ionization, 7.5 times 10 to the negative third. And we get a Ka2, 6.2 times 10 to the negative eighth. Ka3, 3.6 times 10 to the negative third. And so we can see that and progressive ionizations get smaller and smaller. So most of it is due to the first one. So if you had to do an approximation, just do it like another Ka problem and use the approximation. And that, that's generally what happens when these ionizations occur in a stepwise fashion. Ka1 is, equal, is greater than Ka2, which is greater than Ka3, usually by a long shot. And so that's the general relationship. You, the ionization constants get progressively smaller. So if we look at those ionizations to see what happens, let's look at our paper. So let's say, for example, we have our acid H3PO4. We'll make that aqueous. Now, if we put it in an equilibrium, and I'll just ignore the water for this purpose, you're going to lose one acidic hydrogen, but you'll still have dihydrogen phosphate. If now you start with dihydrogen phosphate, you can form a second equilibrium where you have H plus and H PO42 minus. But now I have a starting amount of this and a starting amount of that. So it doesn't shift as much to products as you would think, even considering the smaller Ka, because you already have some product. It doesn't shift quite as much. And But then you still have a third ionization that's even less significant HPO42 minus aqueous. You're going to go to H plus plus PO43 minus. And so we you can't have even further ionization past that, but each one gets significantly less for each ionization.